Um, hello everybody, my name is Daniel Peters, this is Mastery of Metal video about the minus scale and this is going to be a video where basically we do a very intense um, sort of way around the minus scale and sort of making our fingers really work so that you can get some benefit. And um, so yeah, if you can play this on the minor scale, you'll basically just be laughing. And it's also just good for your general playing as well, um, really for your fingers to just do anything. Okay, now I'd just like to make a comment before I start, because people have watched my videos and complain that I don't sound cool and I'm not doing all these little things that people on YouTube are doing to get your attention. And I don't know how simple-minded you are, but my wife told me I was not allowed to wear shorts because I would expose my knees. So for all of you, I've actually exposed my knees. So that's a special bonus for you just to watch my videos. So you know, this is really going to improve your guitar playing. So I believe you actually have to work hard to improve your guitar playing. Um, Ingwe Malmsteen started when he was eight and played all day long. So if you see some videos that say you can do this trick and you'll learn guitar in like five minutes, you're going to get five minutes worth of skill out of that. So just think about it. Um, so here we go. First thing is to learn the minor scale. And our root note will be on A, so we'll go up to the 5th fret, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Starting on the E string, which is easy. Now, the minor scale, we'll just play it together. So, we've got whole half. Like that. Now go to the A string and repeat that. So, whole half, whole half. Now we've just got whole on the next string. So, whole half, whole half, whole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's the minor scale, one octave. Now, to do the next octave, so we'll do two of them, so we can do every string. Go back one fret and do half hold. Now go forwards one fret to the B string, and we'll do half hold again. And finally, on the high E string, we do whole half. Now, we'll repeat that again. So here we go. Hold, half, hold, half, hold. Then back one fret, half, hold. Forwards one fret, half, hold, hold, half. So, now nice and slow, so you should be able to get this. Okay, now you can see this is a good scale for playing metal. It's got a... Some sort of sad, melancholy sounds. Now, once you've actually practiced that and you know the scale... We'll do our workout. Now, this is a pretty hard workout, in my opinion. So, we'll start with our metronome. You start with your metronome wherever you're comfortable. Um, you just see what you can actually do. So, we're going to start with it at 90. So, we'll put the metronome on 90 BPM. And just remember, you can use any root note. So, you can start on, say, you want a G. 
you put your root note on G, your root note is the first note. We're doing ours on A. So at 90 BPM, we'll just play quarter notes to begin with. Okay, now our workout is like this. So we're going to do four notes like that. Then we're going to move up one fret and play another four notes. Move up one fret, play four notes and just work our way like going up a staircase. So if I give you a short burst, it'll be like... And we're up to one octave now. Now this workout is going to really make sure that your fingers can do everything very easily. So here we go, let's try this at 90 BPM. So metronome at 90 and 16th notes. We'll just do four at first. One, two, three, four. Now go up one fret, start on your sort of whichever finger is there. You don't want to actually move your hand position until you have to. So the first three, keep your hands in that position. And we've done a progression of three. Now go to the next string, you're just going to drop your finger down. So, you managed to get two there, but now this one is a bit tricky. You're going to have to go back to that fret on the G string. Go back one fret to there. So, like that. Now start like that when you get to the G string. So let's try and do this so far. A little bit tricky. And there we go. Okay, now let's work higher now, right to the end. So we've got our next. That's pretty tricky to get to the B string. And now up to the E string. And we've finished. Now going backwards is not the same. So going backwards, we'll do the same thing, but we're just going to do it in reverse. So. And what we also want to do is try to get some accent on the note. So try to accent the first note on your metronome and you can practice accenting different notes. Now accent is just to emphasise one note. So here we go, in reverse now at 90 BPM and we'll try to accent it as well. Now I'm a little bit messy there. Another thing that you can practice with this is muting or not muting. So you'll find it's completely different if you're playing with no muting at all. I 
it's um, different compared to if you're doing more muting. Now another thing we can do is we can just do a little Just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The first nine notes. And that gives you a sort of a bit of um a feeling. And what we want to do as well with our workout is find where it's actually hard. So those ones are normally easy, but when you get back to this. B string and you have that little step, that's actually normally a bit harder. And you can see I'm breaking it down. And finding where it's difficult and sort of... finding out how to make it easier for me and practice like that. Okay, so we're going to move our metronome up to 110 now. Still on our A note for our root note. And now let's just try to play the scale 16th notes. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're getting there. We'll try and move to another fret. You'll find it's totally different when you get to a, the higher frets. Got to count. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. Okay, so just showing you the difference there between playing on a higher fret. I'm not as good on these really high frets. I can do it, but um, if I wanted to play better there, I'd need to practice more up there. So generally, I've been practicing down and playing more on these lower frets when I'm playing this sort of minor stuff. Okay, so back to the fifth fret. And let's try our scale again. Here we go. Um, in our workout mode, doing the progression. And I'm getting a bit sloppy now, so I'll try that again. Getting better. I'm sort of tripping up when I get to the B string. So that's where I need to work on it more. Okay, so now fingers are getting a pretty good workout. 
we're going to move that up to 120 BPM. And you can go as fast as you want with this. But um, my wife's violin teacher plays in the orchestra and she reckons in the orchestra the most they do for 16th notes is around 120. And anyway, you go as fast as you want, but you want to play well. And you'll find you'll make little mistakes. For playing fast like this, you may need to warm up. When I record a song, it takes about 30 minutes before I really get warmed up to play well. And most famous uh, guitarists warm up before a show. Um, I know, like, well, yeah, they, they do warm-ups, a lot of them. So here we go. 120. Now let's go back to eighth notes, just to see, you know, if we're in time. One, two, three, four. And you can see with eighth notes, I'm playing more accurately. And that's what you want to aim for with your sixteenth notes. Always slow it down and practice and build up. Start where you feel comfortable. So here we go, sixteenth notes. A little bit sloppy. Exercise, our progression of four notes moving up. Okay. So I'm getting here. And when I'm getting to here, you can see I'm tripping up. So I've got to improve that. Getting better. Okay, so I'm just going to take a break and rest my hand. You can see when I get to 120, I'm still having difficulty. Now, rather than, um, you know, sort of, what's the word, ruining my hand, what I'm going to do is show you how I would perfect this. So first I would slow it down. But I'm not too far off, so I'll slow it back down a bit. Okay, and I'll have one last crack. So metronome at 120, let's see if I can do this. Now you guys are probably all much faster than me and playing this more cleanly. So here I go. One, two, three, four. Little bit out of time. Thank <laughs> you. 
is getting better. Okay, now I'm going to leave it off there. I think you guys have gotten the idea. Now the end result of this, okay, so you've seen my workout for the minor scale and what you'll be able to do basically Now I'm actually slowing down and you probably saw how messy it got, and um, particularly at 120. But the whole thing is this is um, it's a continual improvement. So now, next time I'll be better. So I'll show you, we'll put on Nothing Else Matters, a karaoke version. Maybe this will avoid copyright. And we'll jam with it, which we can do in A minor. So back to our fifth fret, and here we go. Let's see what we've learned. Now if we try some chords You can see that A minor will actually fit that So you can what we've learned. So this is what we've been practicing. Okay, we'll stop there. So you can see basically I'm just whizzing along through that minor scale and just with the sort of exercises we've learned just adding a bit of legato which if you go to my legato video will help but I hope you can appreciate now what we've done with this whole exercise and obviously it's not restricted to that and if you're playing your fretboard and in any key that's going to be helpful so thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed that please like and subscribe to my videos and yes I hope you play really well have a nice day